I am Prasad from Structural Guide. You are welcome to the Structural Guide YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about rock quality designation RQD and the core recovery. Please subscribe our YouTube channel. You may get the notification on new videos. Please like us also showing your interest to the our YouTube channel. What is RQD and core recovery. They are very important in assessing condition of the rock. They indicate the quality of the rock. Foundation capacity highly depend on the RQD value and core recovery value. In pile foundation they use to assess the quality as I mentioned. So based on that we determine the skin friction, end bearing, we are to so we are we do the socketing etc. We Determine based on these values. The socketing length also based on the load we apply. So we need the screen friction. In a such a case, we may determine we may go for a higher socketing length. In addition, we consider the RQD and core recovery values to terminate the pipe. So therefore, we have we want to know about these values very well and we need to know the method of assessing these values very well. Higher the RQD and core recovery values, higher the quality of the rock. Here you can see in this figure also, we have given a table there, the based on the RQD value, rock quality designation, the quality of the rock. So it's less than 25 poor, 2550 it's a poor, it's earlier actually the less than 25 it's very poor. So, if it is below 50, the rock quality is poor. If it is above, it's fair or good or excellent. So, when you design a pile foundation, it's better to have the rock RQD or rock quality designation above 50. If it is less, you have to be very careful. We have to take uh, fullest attention when you design the pile foundations. That is, shall be done based on your experience and well qualified persons shall decide in determining these the ground capacities. What is the rock quality designation or what is the RQD? RQD defined as the sum of the core samples having a length greater than 100 mm divided by the total length considered. The length of the samples having greater than 100 mm. When you take a sample, you can't take it continuously. It breaks certain province. This may be due to a fracture or missing segment or anything may be there. So there are separations. You can see here, 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 here. You have you can see separations. So when you find the RQD, you have to consider the segments having length greater than 100 mm. You can take this one because it's greater than 100. So you can take this one. Here the smaller, smaller segment are there in this range. Right. So this you can't take even determining the RQD value. This part again 200, you can consider this as 400. 43 centimeters, so this also can be considered. Here the unit sign centimeters. Here also no core recovery is there, so no sample is there, so you can't take that part also. So how do we calculate the RQD value? RQD is equal sum of the core pieces greater than 100 mm divided by total length. Multiplied by 100, now this value indicates that as a percentage, therefore we multiply it by 100. So you see the example here, we consider 38, here the 38 we can consider because it greater than 20, 70 centimeters, that also we can consider. Here the two, uh, 20 centimeter also can be considered, this part we can't consider because there are no segments having length greater than 100 mm. Then we can consider 43, here we can't consider no sample recovered there. So 217, 20. 43 divided by total length here to there total length is 200 centimeters so we can divide by 200 multiplied by 
100 then you will get 59 that is in between this range fair and good so the rock condition is fair the crotal can be considered as fair as the r cubed value of the rock is in the range of 51 and 75 so now i think you know how to calculate the r cubed value and how it represents the condition of the rock let's see how to calculate the core recovery value in short form we say it as a CR core recovery core recovery is also an indicator of the condition of the rock lesser the core recovery there is an issue with the quality of the rock if the rock is consistent the core recovery should be 100% as I explained previously also you can't take continuous sample due to the fractures or any cavities unrecovered sample we can't achieve consistent sample right. there could be a fractures separations that affect the length of the rock so with that we can calculate the core recovery CR equal to total length of the recovered sample total length we don't in RQD we consider the samples having length greater than 100 mm in core recovery we check the length recovered in the core previously greater than 100 mm sample only we took here what sort of a length or what sort of length we found as a sample in in the in the geotechnical investigation is considered in this assessment total length divided by the total length recovered divided by the total length of the core so you can hear you can see here the samples so here also we have you in a, in in cracks of this nature you take the middle part so here also a small small segment there but they have recovered so we can take that here also even though cracks is there you can even though here if they are less than 100 mm we take because we want to find the recovered length so even this we can take because we are going for recovered length. no need limit no limitation on the length here we didn't have recovered length so we can't consider that same so let's see example now total length of the sample is 125 millimeter okay this is in millimeter previous and in a centimeter so the total length 120 the recovered length from you can here you can start to add 100 250 200 250 190 60 80 120 total we add there divided by 125 100 1250 sorry so <coughs> then multiply by 100 you get 92 so the core recovery of this particular sample is 92 so it's very good value so because almost most of the sample is recovered but here you can see here this sample is not recovered so these things we have to consider in the evaluation on the drug bearing capacity and skin picture <coughs> because now when if you mistakenly if you rest the foundation here there will be issue because there is no rock to rest the foundation therefore when when this sample is excess you have to examine those sample and do the designs accordingly application of the rock quality designation and core recovery in pile foundations it indicates the condition of the ground or condition of the rock as we discussed so it's you can be used in the design and construction because even in the construction also this is very useful you want to note that here because now when you do the borehole you can't do the borehole at every pile locations we would we we can't do that in practice so we 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 determine based on the area of the construction we determine how many number of bowl hole minimum number of bowl hole to be done so based on that we do certain number of bowl hole in that particular land but uh, each and every location condition is not known because we didn't examine them. so firstly you may do the pile where you have a bowl so close to bowl you do the first pile with that we can now when you do the file you get the sample and we can examine 
way we can see whether it's match with the bohol so if it is matching it should be match if it is matching and then based on that we can determine the socket inlet and the rock condition with the sample we can examine whether these are fractured or they are is a fracture they are those things we can determine based on the sample data which is which is considered for the design and actual condition can be compared with that we can determine the socket in length or where to terminate the pipes in tunnel designs also it's very useful because the useful in evaluation condition of the rock when when based on the rock condition the load on apply on the line will be vary so we have to design the tunnel support according to this condition of the there are many fractures there are many cavities or may there are many uh, weak rock is there we have to consider higher load when you design in the tunnel support those things will be based on these examinations therefore they are very important to us rock so rock anchoring also we have the same same thing because rock also rock anchoring also done to support the rock so in such a situation so the base on the uh, condition of we have to determine the, the length of the anchors etc dam designs cracks cavities weather zone etc can be determined by these things so if we have a rqd and core recovery values with you when you design or determine so you can identify with the samples also you can identify these issues in the rock so they they can be used in the design with that we end the today's discussion so today we discuss about rock quality designation and core recovery rqd and cr so let's meet again from new video thank you very much